it was very much an international co-production from the beginning. Dino De Laurentiis's peculiar genius was that he was able to finance most of his films by pre-selling them before they were made to foreign territories. So before the films even started, Dino often had either all of the budget back or a good chunk of it. Dino De Laurentiis was really at the center of a lot of international A-list talent. For the production designer, Lynch turned to Anthony Masters, who had won an Oscar in 1968 for his art direction on 2001 A Space Odyssey. Certainly the fact that Tony had worked on 2001 put him in good stead for being offered every science fiction film made in the 70s. He was offered Star Wars. He was actually working on another show at the time, so couldn't do it. And when Dune came along, you know, he loved creating worlds, so it was not a difficult decision for him to, uh, to jump on board. When Tony came on the picture, we started working, you know, sort of against traditional science fiction, but we didn't have a uh, feel for these places that evolved over many, many months. The art department was specifically in charge of the design of the film, what things looked like. And that was Tony Masters, who was in charge of the whole thing, myself, Judith, my wife, George Jensen, uh, who was a storyboard artist, and Mentor Hubnor, who was a, uh, the other storyboard artist. Each of us had a, had a little little room in a, in a bungalow sort of a thing, an office space on the Universal lot. Just, 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 just getting the groundwork done, getting used to the book, getting used to the script, getting some, um, some, some basic feeling for how the new universe was going to look, and also getting to know each other. Now, what was interesting was that I was able to see in the production office that they did indeed have some of the Jodorowsky art, or rather, you know, the art that Chris Voss had done and that Ron Cobb had done and many of the other artists, Mobius, had done. That was available to them, as was the Ridley Scott stuff, because Dino owned the rights, obviously, so he had that stuff there. 